the Council of Churches in Namibia has come out strongly in condemning the legalization of voluntary abortion. Its Secretary General Ludwig Bieke says CCN finds it disturbing that Namibia, while in the midst of a global pandemic, is entertaining what the council terms a distraction in the form of abortion. On the other note, surely the national leaders do not want any soul to die of COVID-19 as we are wearing masks and try to keep to all these health protocols. Yet they are basically debating losing of souls, losing souls by way of abortion and demand. Biekes further says scientific evidence shows massive harm abortion has caused to women. Cases of baby dumping, the abandonment of new babies in isolation, with some fetuses flushed down in toilets, are on the increase in Namibia. We wanted to know from Biekes about church's position on this. Even these baby dumpings we are talking about, there are a lot of churches and faith-based organizations who are having activities and programs. It's only not recorded. Bieke says there are alternatives such as adoption, the use of condoms and morning after pills to avoid unwanted pregnancies. The Council of Churches in Namibia has a nine-member executive team of which only two are women. We wanted to know whether women were consulted when the executive drafted its response. As much as it is affecting women, it's also affecting men who are part of this, who, when these things are happening. Last month, Deputy Minister of Health and Social Services, Dr. Ushiwa Munyangwe, tabled a motion seeking to legalize abortion in Namibia. Munyangwe's motion has acted as a catalyst for the debate with some NGOs and several media houses opening their platforms to get the view of the public on voluntary abortion. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.